This is the first part in a two-part video looking at Japanese candlestick patterns involving three candles. We're going to look at four different patterns in this video and we'll look at four different patterns in the next video. Among the patterns we're looking at today will include three black crows, morning star pattern and the evening star pattern. So do keep watching to the end of the video so that you get to hear about all those different patterns. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212 and we add educational videos about trading the financial markets to YouTube on a regular basis. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because that's the easiest way to learn about when we've uploaded fresh content to YouTube. Well, we previously talked about single candlestick patterns and also patterns involving two candles. And today's video is looking at patterns involving three candlesticks. If you haven't already, do check out my video on an introduction to charting if you're unfamiliar with Japanese candlesticks. And it's probably also worth checking out my video on those single candlestick and two candlestick patterns. As we're running through these different patterns, we're not just going to look at what the patterns look like. We're also going to talk about what they are signifying in terms of market behavior. So let's jump right in now with our first pattern. Pattern number one, two black crows with an upside gap. So two black crows upside gap is not the catchiest of names. It is a bearish pattern and we might have a rising market here. But the first part of the pattern is this green candle, which then crucially has this gap between it and the next candle, which is a red candle. And then this is followed by a second red candle. So these are our two black crows here. Um, and the name is derived from black and white candlestick charts, where those would be two black candles, like two black crows high up looking down. Now, ideally, we'd want this second crow here to open above the previous crow, the first crow, and then close beneath the first crow's close. And the thinking behind the bearishness of this pattern is we've got a rising market here and that continues with this gap higher on the opening of this red candle. But the market can't hang on to those highs. And in fact, it slips back to close here in the red. Not entirely bad news for the bulls, perhaps, because that close is still better than the previous days close when things were still looking bullish. But it's this third candle that changes the complexion of things. It's another negative session despite setting new highs and opening at a new high. It's another session that opened strongly but ended on a sour note. And that close is worse than the previous day's close. So the bulls have been having a crack at pushing on, but repeatedly getting knocked back. And that is then considered a bearish sign. And our second pattern is called three black crows. So three black crows. With this pattern, you are looking for three declining red candles, as we have shown here. Now, of course, if we were dealing with black and white candlesticks, as these charts would have been as originally devised, then this would appear as three black candlesticks in a row, which is where the name for the pattern comes from. It kind of like looking like three crows perched on a branch. And it's not supposed to be a positive image. It's a little funereal, maybe a little Halloween-y. And it is considered a bearish sign. Now, ideally, these candles should have the bottoms pretty close to the lower wick, i.e. the market is closing near the low of the day. And you should also be looking for the openings to lie within the body of the preceding candle. Another thing you'd want to see is the opening of the first of the three crows lower than the high of the previous session. And as I said, this is considered to be a bearish signal. Our third pattern is morning star. 
So the morning star is a bottom reversal pattern and it gets its name because as the morning star in the sky in the east precedes the sunrise, this pattern is considered to precede rising prices because the middle candle in the pattern looks a bit like a star. So the pattern is made up first of a long red candle, next a candle with a very small body that has opened lower than the previous close. In other words, it is gapped. And the final candle is a green candle whose body penetrates back up deep into the body of the first red candle. Now the color of this middle candle, the star, is unimportant. It can be either green or red, it doesn't matter. Leading into this pattern then, we would expect to have a falling market. We're in a downtrend and the market is in the clutches of bearish forces. And this first red candle shows this still to be the case. But then we get this very small body on the next candle. The power of the bears to force the market lower isn't what it was. Now they have successfully gapped the market lower, but by the end of the session, they have failed to push the market meaningfully lower. So there's signs there that their control is possibly being seeded. Next, we have this big green candle, and this demonstrates that control has indeed now switched over to the bulls, and therefore a bullish reversal could be on the cards. Our fourth pattern is the evening star. So the evening star is a pattern that we could say is basically the evil twin of the morning star. So it's a bearish reversal pattern. As the evening star appears in the sky in the west just before evening falls, so this pattern augurs falling prices. The first candle in the pattern is a tall green candle. The second candle is our star, so it has this small body, the color of which is unimportant, that doesn't matter whether it's green or red, what is important is that the body has this gap away from the body of the preceding candle. And that candle with the small body provides us a warning of a possible top forming. And then the pattern completes with this third candle, which is a long red candle, the body of which penetrates deep into the body of the first green candle. And that provides further evidence that we may have a top. So once again, the first candle is demonstrating that the trend is still in effect. So we would have an uptrend here leading into this pattern. And then this candle shows us the bullish forces the open here shows further bullish forces, but we get this warning sign by this small body, where despite that bullish open, bulls haven't really done anything with the market. They've run into a bit of a brick wall. And then after that alert, that's saying pay attention, we may be reversing. We get the confirmation with this very bearish action here with this close so deep into the uh, where the market was operating a couple of sessions before. So that is suggestive of a bearish reversal. So just to give you a couple of quick real world examples of some of these patterns we've been looking at, this is a weekly chart of sterling against Swiss franc. And if we look at this top here, we can see that that is actually an evening star formation. We can see we've got the longish green body, not quite as long as we would ideally want, followed by an extremely small body in the second candle. And then the third candle is this long red pullback. So that is a bearish reversal pattern. And furthermore, we also then had three black crows. So that would further confirm the bearishness of the situation. And indeed, we can see that the market sold off quite considerably following those patterns. Well, that's a look at the theory behind these different patterns. Don't forget Trading212's app has a practice mode. So if they have sparked your interest and you're thinking of trying to incorporate them into your trading, one idea of course might be to try it out with practice money first until you're happy before proceeding with real money. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video looking at these different candlestick patterns. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. And why not share your thoughts with us in the comments section? What do you think about these different patterns 
let us know. We do read each message we receive there. And don't forget, there will be a second part looking at some more candlestick patterns involving three candles. But that's all for now from me, Peter Martin and Trading212. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.